The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Real People, Real Life from right here in Wichita, Kansas, America. America! 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 <laughs> Joey, you're feeling better? A lot. A lot. A lot. He was faking. Okay. No, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, I was faking it. My head was swollen three times right. the size Stop of normal. pouring out your nose. You sound a little better. You yeah. get it faking. Yeah, you sound I felt better. like Chucky from the Rugrats. Uh, uh, that's not good. Yeah. Not Chucky from the little movie guy. <laughs> I flashed I, immediately to that. I, 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 I could have doll. absolutely gone into that direction, too. Well, no. Notice my new accessory. Looking I good. I think it's good. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit of a scar down here, I'm sure. Oh. It's one of the one of those, it's going to leave a mark kind of yeah. things. Well, did you get, at least get to eat the popsicle before putting it you on your know, No, I didn't. I, I did you did buy not. Miss Craft sticks? Craft no, I sticks. didn't. This really is a popsicle stick. And oh. this this is my, my baby at home, okay? Guilty. Her name is Tinkerbell. <laughs> Tinkerbell. And she is my Great Dane, okay? And I had to bring this picture today so that I could explain what happens when you have a 175-plus pound Great Dane. That's the look that she makes after she goes, I'm sorry I tripped you, Mom. <laughs> you know, and she's got this cute little face, right? So I'm going one way, and she started going the other way, and then she immediately turned back around, and I'm trying not to fall over her, so I put this hand up, you know, mm. well, there went my pinky, mm. you know, and so then I went with it, and my face tried to hit the wall next, oh. and so, of course, she was not harmed. No animals were armed, oh, you know, or hurt, and, you know, my husband's like, oh, my God, you know, there's blood, and my finger's going the opposite direction, and, and I'm like, it's okay. Duct tape <laughs> and a popsicle <laughs> stick and a little super glue. Let's go. Right. So yeah, I went, we went to the farm. Um, it was my father-in-law's 80th birthday. So we went yeah. to the farm and had a blast. I took my granddaughter Maddie and my dad went and everybody was there. I mean, it was all these people and, and my granddaughter got to feed a little baby calf, you know, that was actually smaller than my Great Dane. You know, I'm like, <laughs> shoot, I can, I can whip this sucker around, but just not Tinkerbell. <laughs> anyway, um, and then my husband was so excited. We had bought um, a gun from the Bullet Stop a few months back and this really awesome shotgun and by the way the bullet stop is going to be joining us here in a little bit um and so keith wanted to wait and fire it for the first time with his dad at the farm mm -hmm. yeah and of course i took my always famous 38 mm -hmm. and you know i'm one of those that i'm kind of old school you take the paper plate and you just hammer it yeah. on the on the tree you know and that's your target Okay, and you can draw pictures yeah. of whatever you want on there. And of course, you know, I would have some select pictures probably right now. I don't know. Oh, I've, I I've to got make that a certain individual in mind. But yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, you know, anyway, I did very well, except that I forgot my plugs. So, you know, oh. oh, man, I forgot how loud that sucker is. Uh, I think uh, my ears are still yeah. ringing. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me now? <laughs> so I was a little you. deaf, you yeah. know, yeah. but we had a good time. Homemade ice cream and the whole night. Oh, sounds like a fun weekend. It was a great weekend. It was a great weekend. I know you. I think I saw pictures of you riding horses. Yeah, well, yeah, I did do that, too, yeah. That's always yeah. a good time. We were feeding cows, riding horses, you know, shooting trees, paper plates, <laughs> nailed to trees. And you, I noticed, you were at Duda. Oh, yes, ma'am. I had uh, an awesome breakfast with my wife yeah. at the Duda Diner. Had always great people. Always. Uh, I love yeah. that place. Where's that at? Uh, it's right there at Kellogg Drive, just mm -hmm. east of Main Street. Oh, mm. yummy. Really? Yummy, yeah. yummy. Yeah. Have to check it You'll out. have to check it out. I mean, Duda it's the best home cooking in town. I love it. Love it. What'd you do this weekend? I argued with some pool players all weekend. Well, at least you didn't have anybody break in or any issues with the city. No, no we didn't do that. We didn't uh, the, the vast the majority city. of the pool community is some wonderful people, but we've just got a handful, and most of them live out of town, that the sun doesn't rise to suit them. You know, we, we, <laughs> we pay for an event where they can come and gamble, and there's no pool time, and we pay for a racker and a third-party uh, 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 commentator. Yeah. And one of them got butt hurt because the commentator actually made a comment <laughs> and uh, this has Imagine. turned into this this monster rebellion <laughs> through the pool community here in Wichita, and, and Joe's a jerk, and blah blah blah, because I didn't fire our volunteer commentator or whatever it is they thought. It was. Well, can you fire a volunteer? I, I think I, you yeah. can't. I don't oh, know I how. I, I don't know how I can control what they say either. That's kind of pointless. Yeah. But that's what I did all weekend was was argue with a, a you know a few low foreheads that the sun doesn't rise to suit them. You know. <sighs> 
But, Boy, um, I think I know some of those people. Yeah. Um, how was your weekend? It was phenomenal. Of course, I started out with yeah. Saturday morning with the dash and dine. Yeah, I saw pictures. Now I came in third. No. I see no. that. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, I there was only three guys you. in my age bracket. Yeah. So I finished third of three. For whatever it may be, but I hey, I would not include that information because third sounds wonderful. I was gonna say, just leave it third. Well, <laughs> you're, not, uh, you're in the top five, exactly. <laughs> there you go. In the complete, to be completely truthful, there was three women uh, oh. also entered in my age bracket, uh. which is 60 through five million, whatever. They also finished ahead of me, so out of the six. 60 to 5. But that's okay. You know what? Uh, congratulations. I think so. I really have seriously. To congrats. Congrats. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was It was fun. Yeah. Was fun. I saw your little, you know, it's like you finished a big marathon with I, your. I, I filmed like a job. Yeah. Yeah. How was your weekend? It was great. Yeah. I had a great weekend. Yeah. yeah. Now, I have slept like maybe five hours total. Yeah. Julius wow. lost a, uh, one of his caps biting open a water mm. bottle. So, um, Ouch. even though he, because of his disorder, he doesn't acknowledge pain during the day, when he goes to lay down, that's he is. moans and stays awake and. Yeah, so it's been I used fun. to do that with beer bottles. And, and I also lost a friend bag. this weekend. Do you need some duct tape? You lost uh, a friend. Of that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, my friend Demas passed away of a sudden heart attack. Uh, it was somebody I went to school with when I came here for a semester during school. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, so it was an eventful weekend. Just not good events. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. We've got a, a show topic today. Another one of those that we keep saying we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do, because we have so many topics. I don't know how we're going to fit all this into one hour, though. Uh, it's going to be tough. It, it is going to be tough. But we've been saying for quite some time that we wanted to cover and do a show dedicated to post-traumatic stress disorder. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah. And I, I'm very, very honored with the guests that came forward to be in the show tonight. Obviously, like I said, we do have Nathan McClure, who's here with the Bullet Stop the Bullet Stop does a lot of um, donations and, and you know, uh, activities to help, you know, some of these different types of organizations. But I'm, I'm also very excited that we have Mark here, uh, Mark Spencer with Patriot Outdoors Adventures. And, and this one, you know, and I'll let you guys see a little bit more about it, but they basically will take uh, the veterans on all these different camping and hunting, it's mostly hunting uh, adventures. And I, I said, you know, I've always wanted to go to Africa. There's something about hippos, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably because my daughter kept playing with a stuffed hippo all weekend. But anyway, um, I did not know that you can hunt hippos in Texas. Did you know this? No. Hippos. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Did you not know that? I did I've not. Never actually ran across a hippo in Texas, and I've been there a couple times. Well, oh, I, mean, I, I did, but they were in bars, only one night. and I was not. Ah! <laughs> Kaboom, boom, bang! Shame on you, Joe. It, it, was, it was one night. Not I was kind young. Of a I needed the money. Not that kind. Not that kind. Not that kind. Oh well, but, maybe is it that the kind? No, I don't no. think so. Because yeah, I've not yeah. seen any other kind in Texas. Uh, uh, no, I understand exotic, your confusion. There's exotic game ranches down there. That's what it is. There. There's an exotic game ranch. I didn't know that till really? tonight, and 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 they were telling me about it, and I'm like, what? Anyway, and um, but they've got these hunting trips that are just. I'm gonna let them tell you a little bit more about it here in a little bit because they are they're all over the United States. I, I never knew that they had those in the United States. I really thought they were all like in That's Africa. That's what I want to see. Yeah. And the hippos I, totally I met had in a Texas would be illegal to shoot them. So. Do what? They have social security numbers and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. They get yeah. driver's license. Because <laughs> everything <laughs> is bigger in Texas. Yeah, that's Do you know? I mean, can you get a permit uh, for that? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we better find out. Well, anyway. Maybe if we have a purge. <laughs> Oh my, god. oh my god. That's scary that there you say you that. I know, and alligators too. Rumors. I think there was, they went on an alligator hunt. I, met a few of those I love too. alligators yeah. and crocodiles, whatever, alligators, whatever it is. Crocodile. So I was seeing all these pictures Crocodile. and I'm like, yeah, crocodile. <laughs> so I was like, you guys are seriously doing this and hunting this stuff right here. And I'm like, man. Yeah. But the coolest thing is, is there's no charge to the veterans, okay, that are suffering oh. from post traumatic stress disorder to go on these hunting trips. And so I heard really? a little bit about it earlier, so I can't wait to have them on yeah. and and talk to us about what they do have to offer um the veterans including you know a private jet that picks them up and takes them to these really? locations and a couple of the hunting excursions are actually here in kansas a couple of my believer deer and but they do get into upper in the states you know where there's big you know big stuff and then i brought up hippos and i had no really? idea that they had them in texas i met so, a bambi in a bar you met a what you're talking about deer. I met a Bambi at a bar too. <laughs> a Bambi and a bunny. In the bar. <laughs> you know, we never ever know. You know, people say, "Well, how can you? Why do you guys have so much fun in that first?" Because you segment? never know what's gonna come out of his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We just never know. Okay, no. and then our other guest tonight too is Pat Bucard, who is with um, the Dismantle Group, 
and also M3, who does a lot of stuff, too, to help um, <laughs> our veterans. And so we've got a pretty exciting group that's going to be joining us here pretty quick. And I just, it is a very, very serious topic that we are it truly is. talking yes. about. And and I, 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 there's some statistics that I was completely unaware of that really, really kind of went right to my heart. And in looking at this right here, facts on PTSD, one in five troops from Iraq and Afghanistan have PTSD. Um, in the last year, diagnosis has increased 50%. Over 300,000 soldiers have PTSD. 71% of female troops develops PTSD. A soldier dies every 80 minutes from suicide. Um, so we're going to get into this. Um, yep, every 80 minutes from suicide. So we're going to be getting into this today. I think it's a very uh, timely topic and very something much. that we need to we need to address. And I know we were hoping to get some folks from our local Veterans Administration Hospital, but the only reason that they couldn't make it was because of timing. Okay, yes. it wasn't that they weren't wanting to be here, but they were not able to at the time that we record the show. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I know in their hearts that they wanted to be here. So I do want people to understand that. We did have um, a couple other guests that um, wanted to be here today too. Um, and I'm, I'm not gonna mention names, but um, one of them, for example, his son, this was his first day to enlist in the Army, and oh. it was just a little bit too much oh, yeah. for him. Yeah. And so he called me this morning and said, I'm really sorry, you know, I can't be there this afternoon. So I completely understand that, you know, I would I would probably be very, it it's going to be an emotional show. It would be a trigger. I mean, See, I don't like emotional shows because I'd rather be smiling. See, when I went in the smile. Marine Corps, my mother had my bags packed for me. <laughs> <laughs> I that, can only that's imagine, Joe. Right. Really? That's a surprise. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, like, get out of here. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to get rid of the, the, the jokes from my Great Dane and my duct tape and my pinky finger, and we're going to get to some real stuff right here on Real People, Real Life. We'll be right back. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. King Auto Sales, the king of buy here, pay here. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. The king specializes in getting you in the ride you want no matter the credit score. Credit King, doing it better all the time with the largest selection to choose from in all price ranges at one location. The King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Kansas' biggest buy here, pay here. GoCreditKing.com. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide, wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine Day, Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer Day, Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and imports. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Sal's Japanese Steakhouse, 6829 East Kellogg Drive, a Wichita tradition for awesome dining and always a great time. Enjoy our Monday to Thursday specials, including half-priced chicken and shrimp dinners. Sal's is open seven days a week. Come in, relax, and let us give you the treat of fine dining and good fun in a beautiful atmosphere. From our family to yours, Sal's Japanese Steakhouse, 6829 East Kellogg, Wichita, Kansas. It's a breeze when you know your mover. And we want to be the mover you know. We are ready to move your home or office and provide you with quality, safe, long and short-term storage services. We move locally, statewide and across the nation. When you know your mover, you can rest assured that your possessions will be cared for and treated with the utmost care. Call us today and schedule a free estimate for your next move at 316-838-6140. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life from Wichita, Kansas, and I am honored to have Pat Bucard with M3 and the Dismantle Group, and of course, Mark Spencer with the, I just think you guys are amazing, oh my gosh, with Patriot Outdoors Adventures. So Pat, I'm gonna, and again, our topic for the conversation today is post-traumatic stress disorder. It's very and serious. I want you to kind of start with what you wanted to lead into this situation. Thank you for having me on your show again, I appreciate yeah, that. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I. I started the concept of M3, which is magicians, music, 
and Masters uh, trying to put together a whole bunch of kind of eccentric underdog people in each one of those three groups to make a difference and kind of awaken and kind of change uh, vets and specifically uh, if you want to use the word target target PTSD and so being for, as a contractor helping vets and then you know I was investigating the, these type of issues with IEDs and uh, you know I mentioned in the show before that I was hit I can tell you uh, it's really when I think about they have a lot of armor and headgear and scopes and weaponry and tactics on how to deal with the enemy uh, and that's just plain speaking that's exactly what they do but going through those events and everything coming home uh, I wanted, wanted them to realize that uh, it's not really so much their tactics dealing in war fighting so much as it is uh, their armor and their headgear and their weaponry that they can use to defeat uh, the PTSD that comes creeping in in their mind mm -hmm. and for me uh, going through a lot of stuff I you know there's a lot of symptoms that a lot of people get and everything so I started thinking about how I could just really pay it forward and magic was the way that I wanted to do it and I just so happened to love the music so I started thinking about that and meeting Mark and everything and he's started this program that's that's for free I to help vets and what I want to say is no charge mm -hmm. means no excuse <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's, it, you know, they just have to have the courage to come forward, you know, and everything. So, uh, what I wanted to talk about is, is that uh, it, PTSD, if you would think of it as an enemy, uh, it, it comes in very, it's very trick. It, they use trickery and deceptive tactics. To, uh, you start sometimes you get medicine that might be off. The doctor's trying to help you, and in my case, sometimes you know you give somebody that's been through a lot of things, and uh, a you know, let's say it's a really smart person. Uh, there, you're, there, all these type of symptoms that you get, you're trying to make sense of it and everything, and then you know you just have to figure out and reach out to know that there's a lot of people that, that are here for you and there and are. for your service. Mm -hmm. They honor your service, so I want to try to I try to figure out how to approach that, and I think both of us being together here is a perfect time to address that. Mm -hmm. I do too. I do too. Mark, thank you so much, you know, for telling me. Uh, I of course I have to thank Nathan and the folks over at Bullet Stop for letting me know about you and about what you do. Can you tell us a little bit, um, again, because I, I talked about some of the specifics in here, but you've got so much in here, I know you probably don't <laughs> even need me to give you this, but I was um, without treatment, some of the problems that um, folks with, you know, this uh, post-traumatic stress right. disorder, what, what are some of those things that they get? If well, they it's really surprising, forward? I mean, everybody's familiar with, you know, depression, the anxiety issues and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but it's also heart disease, heart failures, strokes. Uh -huh. I mean, it, it really lends to a lot of medical issues as well mm -hmm. as the obvious ones that people are familiar with, you know, being the psychological ones. Right. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of these vets, they come home and they've lost the brotherhood or the friendship we have while we're together in the Army. Mm -hmm. And when they've lost that, they've lost a lot. So, like I said, they'll actually restrict themselves you know where they're not contacting people and then those medical issues keep building up and building up and they just let them go mm -hmm. and that's why you see a lot of them not even noticing it until it's long term and yeah. it's already taken a major effect on them mm -hmm. is, is it hard for them to come forward and, and say hey I need some help uh, coming up in the military and even coming up from my age group mm -hmm. it's always been taught to you know just rub dirt on it, it'll be okay you know, duct you're tape. really supposed to, like I said, annoy you, you it. You can't duct tape this one, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> duct tape doesn't cover it too well. Right. There's no right. taking but a knee and having a, a drink of water. Up. Exactly. You know, and, even and, and these younger thing. ones, though, that have came home, um, I had a friend that this guy had met her, and he couldn't leave his house to even take somebody out on a date. He would invite a date, and he would explain a situation, of course, in his disorder that he suffered from PTSD, but... Um, and invite them to watch movies that hurt. I mean, but how awkward is that? I mean, how many women are actually going to take them up? So they find themselves very isolated, right? They do. They, and a lot of people don't realize that they're isolating themselves right. because they don't want their disease to affect other people. They don't want to, not necessarily harm, but they don't want to affect the other people around them. So it's, so it's, it's easier that? for them to stay at home and isolate themselves. You know, Could it also be the environment triggers it? It, it is. That's what I was going to say. I mean, the environment, I mean, you know, just a hypervigilance trying to be around, you know, in a room of, you know, 100 people to say. Right, you know, right. going to the mall, going to the Very store. Very loud. You know, 
it's the hypervigilance where we're scanning everybody that's walking through. Is it a threat? Is it not a threat? What are my exits? What are my target points? Where are my Cause like escape the routes? It's just a constant bombardment, and that's what people don't realize. I mean, they see some guy just sitting there, you know, he's, you know, being quiet or something. Well, there's five million things running through his head. That's the reason. I've seen that. I, I, I have I've seen. experienced that. That's what I'm trying, trying to say is that with, <laughs> if, they, if their mind is so filled with, uh, and I can totally relate to this, like movement coming on them quickly. I mean, they're they're used to reacting to that, even with vehicles it. and assessing mm-hmm. uh, the way the road is set up and everything, and then, you know, trying to make sense of that. But I think what's really cool about what he's what what, what Mark is trying to do is is that I think that these vets need to know that that instead of uh, you know them trying to figure out what to do themselves, why not let a why not, why can't there be a Joe Snuffy at the door or a, a ranger at the to door of your the of your mind? Mm-hmm. I, I want a ranger at the door when all these things come at me. That means a guy that can we can all go hunting and fishing together. I think it's just a fantastic project. That is, it's amazing. Yeah. How did you how did you decide to? I mean, because I I remember saying something over the weekend, you know, that I was going to have a gentleman on that was specializing in hunting, you know, trips uh, for for veterans that were you know suffering from you know post traumatic stress disorder. And I remember somebody saying, they're going to go shooting guns. You know, wouldn't that trigger it? You know, and I said, I don't, I don't think that that's the case. I mean, just getting involved in it would be. I think it's the camaraderie. Just, just getting involved. Exactly. That's one hundred percent. It's all right. We don't just specialize in hunts. I mean, we do fishing trips, sporting events, camping, just sitting over a fire. You know, talking with each yeah. other. That's where we're gaining more. It's creating that peer group that we're right. missing now that we're back home. Mm-hmm. Like I said, sitting around with guys that have gone through the similar things. You know, talking about that, or yeah. you know, it may be sitting there talking about just you know what happened on the football oh, yesterday, yes, yes. or right. you know, just whatever. It's just that camaraderie build, Cl- being close. Yeah, it sounds yeah. very close. expensive. How do you afford to provide this service? Um, up until just right now, say the expenses that came out of my pocket, I've been able <laughs> to, like I said, keep incredible. things going. That's Amazing. crazy. Uh, it is. I've, I've got a lot of really good friends that help me though. Um, for example, the gentleman that helps us with our private jet, mm-hmm. say Grant Jacobson of Jacobson Aviation, he actually will fly down from Texas, pick my guys up, fly us back to Texas, you know, we'll do our hunt and stuff and flies back home. You know, it's, it's assessed the citation ten, you know, brand new sets the citation. You know, and oh he's doing God. that out of the, the goodness of his heart. You know, he's helping us because he right. believes in the mission. Right. Right. Unbelievable. And I, I want to make sure we get some pictures that you shared with me earlier. Okay. What was that? Alligator hunt. Right. We do an alligator hunt every year up in Louisiana. <laughs> with just love to do that. <laughs> How do you right? sign up to go I on these, though? I that. mean, because Gee. obviously you can't take every single right. buddy that wants to go. Well, How do you well, get on you. the list? Um, they're going to contact me, which say go to our Facebook page. My All my information is there. It's uh, Patriot Outdoors Adventures. Okay. Um, I can give you guys my phone number. That would be fine, too. I mean, just... Contact me and we'll get them set up. Um, a lot of my vets come from like the Army Winter Warrior Program mm-hmm. where we've got a local representative here at the local VA and he will give me names of guys that are needing to get away and go with some things. I've also got contacts with even some of my own doctors at the Wichita VA. Oh, and wow. if, if they've got somebody that needs help, I get them from there. Um, like I said, warrior transition units from all the military bases and stuff like that. So you don't you when you do these excursions, you know, not just hunting, but hunting, fishing, right. setting, mm-hmm. camping, whatever. They're pretty much all throughout the United States. Uh, Some of them are right. I mean, everywhere from basically Montana down to really? Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. So you work with those. This is all you, right? Correct. I've got a couple guys that are helping me. Uh, one is Nathan McClure, mm-hmm. and like I said, we've got guys in uh, Nebraska. Uh, Colorado, Kansas, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. Pretty much everywhere. So like I said pretty much the entire Middle East. Mm-hmm. Just like curious, so. how often are they female? Um, we do occasionally have females that come out to them. Um, females are not usually the outdoorsy types. Mm-hmm. Some of them are, especially coming out of the military. Mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. to go outdoors and go into a mall. <laughs> I, I, Did you say go outdoors and go into a mall? Well, that's outdoors. <laughs> she's got she's to go through a door to get in. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. In and no. out a door. No, I'm just but kidding. yeah, we, we definitely take uh, females. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it, it's really anyone that's in need of getting away from a situation, mm-hmm. get out of their own heads and go and, like I said, enjoy themselves. Mm-hmm. So like I said, if I've got females, so we were getting ready to do an all-female event um, 
here in Kansas. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. I, I think that this is, go ahead, Foster. So it seems like it's inter integrational. You know, like you're integrating right. them back into like the, the training that they got instead of it representing what they experienced, you're changing the representation of the flying, the shooting, the everything. It's it's something else now. It's right. You know, well, it's I mean, healthier. Coming out of the military, you're going to know how to shoot. Yeah. You know, now, how do we take that from being a negative thing from combat? Turn it into a positive. And turn it back into a positive. And I mean, we got a lot of guys that are coming back, either mentally or physically unable to go back out and hunt and stuff, mm -hmm. or to go back out and want to go fishing. So, like I said, I mean, we've found ways to, you know get a, a pole holder onto uh, uh, wheelchairs. There yeah. we go. Wow. I, I saw the one of the pictures you, you, you <laughs> showed me actually had a couple of, of uh, veterans that were in wheelchairs. Yeah, uh, I think that was actually our alligator. We had two wow. double amputees. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do yeah. want to make sure we get that picture so okay. we can share it with That's the audience. That's pretty cool. Um, again, I want to make sure that everybody understands that you are a phone call away, you mm -hmm. know, or a Facebook message away. There is help out there. Pat, I mean, we can get your information up too and then get a hold of you. Because uh, we're going to come back and talk I know, to you guys. If, if I've had calls from a vet. I, I, call, I got a call from a, uh, an attorney that was a vet representing a vet that's being charged in another state. And, uh, I, you know, just about the time, it's like the godfather. You know, just as soon as I try to get out, they pull me back in. But I can never say no to a vet. They can contact me 24-7. I'll do my best that's to help. That's one of the things that I, I can see with you guys and uh, those of you that are paying it forward big time. You know, there's just not enough thank yous. Mm -hmm. You know, I know we need to take a quick break. Good karma surrounds I, you. Guys. I've, I've got a quick something I can well, show you. That. Well, hang on though. You're gonna have to wait till we come right okay, back. I can't but wait right to now, show you. I, I just want everybody to just say thank <laughs> you okay. to both yeah. of you for all your yes. service and everything. And we'll be right back right here. Real people, real life. Wait, we got a quickie. Go. <laughs> okay, this is an effect that was uh, developed by one of my favorite magicians, Michael Lamar, and uh, it's. Uh, I just want to thank Stevens Magic and Tom Frank. Now come on over here, guys. Come on out. Let's see, see this little coin here. Mm -hmm. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. What did you say, dude? I think you got a twin growing out of your hand. <laughs> I think you do too. That's what I saw. <laughs> you see, it's called the baby hand. You ever seen the basket case? <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. That's what? Oh wow. I don't even okay. want it. What? <laughs> do you want to see it? Yes. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me see. No. Hold that coin and make sure it's real. Okay. Okay. Don't it's a real coin. It's a real coin. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Watch this. Give it to me. Okay, we're gonna watch. Put it right here and watch this. Come on out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> real people, real life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. At Economy Motors, we know that everything costs more these days. Gas costs more, utilities cost more, groceries cost more. But what's one thing that will not cost you more? Buying your next vehicle with us. Everything we have is priced $12,995 or under. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. No crazy gimmicks and no bait and switch. We keep it real. Economy Motors, home of easy pay. We've got your back. At Trailer Town, we're all about selection, service, and safety. Trailer Town selection, hundreds to choose from, small to large, lightweight aluminum to heavy-duty steel, all types, new and used. Trailer Town service, the best in the Midwest, from wiring to axle repair. Trailer Town safety, yes, we do Department of Transportation inspections. Trailer Town, trusted, family-owned, 301 West 53rd Street North. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide, wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine day, Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer day, Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and imports. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Sal's Japanese Steakhouse, 6829 East Kellogg Drive. A Wichita tradition for awesome dining and always a great time. Enjoy our Monday to Thursday specials, including half-priced chicken and shrimp dinners. 
Sal's is open seven days a week. Come in, relax, and let us give you the treat of fine dining and good fun in a beautiful atmosphere. From our family to yours, Sal's Japanese Steakhouse, 6829 East Kellogg, Wichita, Kansas.